Here we have a very nice looking 2008 BMW 123 diesel M Sport Coupe in black. Very nice looking car as you'll see through the video. Starts with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, we're looking at about 3mm there. There is a, quite a bit of wear into the outside edge though, so just be wary of that. Looking at the offside front alloy, taking a good look at the condition. Uh, a little bit of paint peel on some of the spokes. Um, again, very minor scuff there to the paint and at the top of the alloy there. So again, nice condition. Uh, will it need a refurb? Uh, it's purely up to you guys, obviously. It does look very good, uh, especially for its age. Looking down at the offside of the vehicle now, it's looking very clean. I must say, um, I definitely cannot spot any dinks or dents at all down there. Um, looking at the offside front arch, again, lovely condition, nothing to report there, really. Driver's mirror, there's just one or two very minor little stone chips, may require some touch-ins. Um, apart from that, looking at the driver's door, again, looks great. Um, there is one or two scratches, this one here. I can get my nail, fingernail into that one, so that one's not going to be able to polish out, might need some paint. Looking at your driver's door edge, again some touching is going to be required there, you've got one or two very minor little nicks in it. Apart from that though, lovely condition. Moving towards the rear arch, again looks very clean, very tidy, nothing to report at all there. Rear tyre, easily a good 5mm there. Looking at uh, the NIS uh, offside rear alloy, again some minor little curbing. Again, bit of a curb mark there couple of scratches and again a bit of curbing so this one may require a refurb moving towards the rear end of the car it's a lovely little car rear parking sensors um, looking at the rear bumper there's no signs of any damage at all there you've got a very very slight dink in the rear bumper here it's very light though so shouldn't really be an issue apart from that there's one or two light scratches on the loading bay that I'll be able to polish out no problem Apart from that, all good, got a bit of a scratch on the near side rear quarter, that should polish no problem as well. Inside the boot, lovely uh, clean condition. As you can see, there's no issues at all there, obviously no spare wheel um, with the, uh, the BMW, just your battery. Moving around to the near side rear tyre, once again easily a good 5mm of tread there. Near side rear alloy is definitely going to require a refurb, as you can see got some heavy curbing to the top there and some light curbing towards the bottom, uh, the bottom. And looking down the near side of the vehicle, now once again it's looking very clean and again I personally cannot see any dinks or dents at all down there. Now of course there is a few light scratches, uh, most of them will polish no problem, a couple of chips in the door edge again, but apart from the light scratches guys there's nothing really to report. Um, some light scratches to the mirror, front arch looks uh, lovely and clean, front tyre, again it's about 3-4 mm tread, but there's a slight bit of wear into the outside edge, not as bad as the offside though. Near side front alloy, it's looking very clean, no curbing or scuff marks at all there. Moving around to the front end of the vehicle, now you've got a light scuff on the near side front arch, as you can see, it has taken the paint off slightly there. From parking sensors, you can see you've got some uh, chips around the centre itself though. Also some scratches on the front here. Um, again, they're not very heavy at all, um, so it should be okay. Now there is a lot of stone chips though to the front end of the vehicle, so just be wary. There is quite a few stone chips on the vehicle. You can see the parking uh, sensors, all the paint's chipped off it there. And it's the same to that side as well. You've also got some lacquer peel on the front bumper there. No signs of any damage though. And then just some stone chips on the bonnet of the car as well. So just going to need some touch-ins here and there. Take a look at the interior of the vehicle. Now it's very impressive inside. You've got the full black leather M Sport seats. Bolsters are nice. A slight bit of wearing but again just age related. Looking in the back. I do apologise about the light. It's a bit awkward how sunny it is today. Um, but the back seats are immaculate, doesn't even look like they've been used, the leather looks almost new, so lovely condition in the back there. Front passenger seat also in a lovely condition, and again it's exactly how I'd expect a car to be there, to be treated. Um, all the uh, brushed aluminium finish inside, there's no scratches or marks, it's also got the screen there which is a, a rare option, um, but again everything looks very well. Stepping inside the vehicle itself, as you can see, we've got the paddle shift there behind the steering wheel. We do have two sets of keys with the car, as we can see, and just getting the car started. As you can see, no issues at all symboling on the, uh, the dashboard. 10,000 miles there to its next service. 
56,786 miles on the clock, so very good mileage for the vehicle's age. And you've even got half a tank of fuel. No symbols on the dash though, as I said. Paddle shift, multifunction steering wheel, lovely conditions to the M Sports uh, wheel. Heated seats in the vehicle as well, you've got your CD and radio. No issues at all with the sound there, no problems with the blowers, air conditioning comes out nice and cold. And as you can see you've got the, uh, like I said, the screen in the vehicle which is a, a rare feature, you don't see that very often. I'll just go over to the map, as you can see working perfectly fine, nice large display. Um, but again, lovely feature to the vehicle. Everything's in good working order. Auto box, of course, and looking at the documents. V5 for the vehicle. The car's had five owners, believe it or not. So five owners on the car. MOT until December 4th, 2015. And service history wise. Now we have got full service history. It is non franchise, but it is full service history nevertheless. So 16 there. We got 48, 49, and 56. So as you can see, it has just been serviced as we speak so just out of service which is spot on there we go guys 2008 BMW 123D M Sport Coupe it's a rare engine size it's got all the spec as well including the nav and the screen lovely little car for its age